Kiki Hive and welcome back to my channel. You looking good today. I see you girl with your twist out, your bun, you know, your good smile. Go ahead and smile for me. <laughs> yeah, you looking good. All right, so let's get into today's video. It's cold and in the winter months, my scalp tends to get a lot drier than normal. And I had done some research on like how to combat dry scalp or how to get rid of flakes or just help my scalp in any way I can and I came across scalp exfoliation and I thought actually a good idea because we exfoliate you know our face we exfoliate our body get rid of dry dead skin so why not exfoliate our scalp as well now I know we do a lot of like shampoo and deep conditioning and stuff but most of the time that is for our strands and just to kind of remove buildup off our scalp but I don't think we actually ever get off the dead Skin. So today I'm going to be doing this treatment. So if you are interested, keep watching. But before we get into the video, you already know what I'm about to tell you to do. Hit that subscribe button down below. You know it's red. It says subscribe. Just go ahead, click that for me to become a part of the Key Hive. All right. So for this video, you're going to need some sea salt. If you don't have sea salt, you can use brown sugar, but I like to use sea salt because the um, granules are a little bigger so they won't get caught in your hair as easily. So sea salt, some olive oil, got this from the grocery store of course, and some honey. You're also gonna need a bowl. This time I got a glass one so it's not, it's not ratchet like the other one I had. So I got a bowl right here, a spoon to mix, and a measuring spoon as well. So let's get mixing. All right, so I'm just taking about a cup of the sea salt and just pouring that into the bowl. The sea salt is gonna really help exfoliate our scalp. Again, if you don't have sea salt, you can use, you know, brown sugar if you want to. And then we're going to take some olive oil. I took about two teaspoons of that and poured it into the bowl is going to add a nice shine to our scalp and get all that dandruff off. Then we're going to take some honey if I can get it out of the bottle. I took about a teaspoon of this and put it into the bowl. Honey is a natural humectant so it's going to attract moisture to our strands and our scalp so it stays moisturized. All right so once I've done that, you're going to want to mix this up nice and well to get everything all, you know, mixed together. And I decided at the end to add a little bit of tea tree oil to add an extra scent and, you know, this stimulates blood flow to the scalp. It smells pretty good. So this is what it looks like. And now on to the okay, next so step. Okay, so now I got the mixture made. So now I'm about to split my hair into five sections. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take this towel and put it across my lap because it's going to get a little messy. All right, so you're just going to split a section of your hair and then take the scrub and scrub your scalp in circular motions. This is just going to help release that dry scalp and that dandruff off of your head. And it's pretty self-explanatory, so you can just follow what I'm doing and just go through each of the five sections on your head. You'll be great. So I just let you watch this and see you in the next step. So I have all of the exfoliation treatment on my scalp and y'all, it feels so good. The sea salt helps scrub the dead skin off and the tea tree oil just helps stimulate, you know, blood flow to the scalp. The honey has nice shine and a protective layer to help moisturize the scalp even further. So I'm going to, looking crazy, I'm going to leave this on my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to show you how it looks when I wash it out. All right, so I have washed out all of the scrub. As you can see, my scalp is flake free it's soft it feels so much better than it did before because y'all it was feeling crusty and crunchy and crazy but yeah this scalp this scalp scrub really works i like to do it maybe about every two weeks or as needed just because my scalp be going through some things in the winter time 
so this is just me showing you what it looks like yeah so hope you enjoyed see my scalp is not flaky or has a bunch of danger anymore anymore my scalp feels nice and clean and just so much better it's not as itchy as it was actually it's not itchy at all it feels great so if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you know somebody who's dealing with dry scalp tell them to watch this video because I'm 99.999% sure that is going to work especially during these winter months I feel like this is super important in the winter months because the air is just super cold and your scalp just goes crazy I don't know what it is but anyways hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye